Good morning. Um, it's quite an adventure with you today. We, <laughs> I'm actually in the car. I'm, I'm, I'm not driving. I had to park because I had some things to do today. So you're welcome again to another episode of Reflections. This is quite a journey for all of us. I'm learning new things every day and I'm sure that you are learning new things too. So here we are on the road with me. I had, like I said, I had to run an errand. And today we want to look at power in your word. Remember yesterday I said to you, I said, I said that we have to be careful what we say. The name we call people or the names we allow people to call us or to call things that are happening in our lives or to call the people who are close to us. What is, the, what is in a name? That is what I asked us yesterday. And I, if you remember, I said to us that the Lord God Almighty created everything, birds, animals. He brought them all to, the, to Adam and whatever Adam called them, that was what it was. So I said to us that we have the power to call things and whatever name we call it, that name it shall be. Now I want you to remember, and if you haven't done that yet, please go ahead and share, start a watch party. Um, I want you to remember also that Jabez was called a name that spoke throughout his life. His mother called him Sorrow because that was the circumstances in which he was born. But Jabez did something. Jabez cried out to God and God changed the circumstance of Jabez. God in his mercy changed and blessed Jabez. Now, I think it did not occur to Jabez to actually do a change of name. Uh, he should have changed his name from Jabez to blessing because he told the Lord, he said, Lord, he said, um, he said, bless me. The Bible tells us that he was more honorable. He was honorable than all his brothers. But then, <laughs> because of the kind of name that he had been given, that name was speaking on, through his life until he cried to God and said, Lord, bless me. Don't let me know pain anymore. And the Lord blessed him. What is in a name? What is in the word that you speak? There is power in it. If you go through the Bible, you will see God changing the names of people. Abraham to Abraham. Sarai to Sarah. Saul to Paul. And so forth and so on. So you must be careful about the name that you are called. You must be careful about the name that you call people. And I think for those who are believing God for children, this actually, I think, is your week. Because the scripture the Lord gave me this morning again was, there will be no barren in your land. None shall miscarry or be barren. So why do we call people who are trying to have children barren? The word of God says that none shall be barren. We must not call anybody barren. Because as Adam called it out, so it was. Adam said, this one is the lion. That was what it was called. In fact, Adam was the one who named Eve. God created Eve and brought Eve to Adam. And Adam looked at her and said, her name is Eve. Because she was brought out of me, he named her. That tells us that we have power to name everything. Everything existing now or not yet existing. Whatever we call it in our lives, that is what it will be. So, when you say things like, I don't know what is wrong with me. Everything I do fails. I'm a failure. 
That is not your name. Your name is blessed. Your name is good success. Because God said to Joshua, he said, Joshua, do these things and I will grant you good success. My name is good success. My name is favor. Highly favored. My name is blessed. Because God says concerning me, he said, I'm the seed of Abraham. I'm the seed of Abraham. Whatever you call it is what it will be. You have the power to call it. And whatever name you call it, that is what it is. Every name that Adam called everything God brought to him, that was what that thing became. Please, call out your situation. Call it the name you want it to be. Call it the name you want it to be because as you call your situation, your circumstance, the name you want it to be, that is what it is going to become. God in Exodus 23, 26 said, there shall be no barren in your land. Why do we call people barren? There is power in your word. Power in your mouth. Speak concerning your situation. Speak concerning your circumstance. Speak concerning your life. Speak concerning your children. Speak concerning your grandchildren, your siblings, your, your parents, your grandparents, your great-grandparents, your great-grandchildren, your uncles, your aunties, your ministry, your church, your work. Speak concerning them what you want them to be. Speak concerning your business, global, global investments. Speak concerning your ministry, international ministry. Speak concerning your life, blessed. Speak concerning your children, successful. They, they rule in the earth. Great is their peace. Speak. Because as you speak it, so shall it be. Power in your word. I want to congratulate somebody today. Because as you change what is coming out of your mouth concerning your situation, your children, your family, something is going to begin to happen in your life. Power in your word. Whatever Adam called it, that was what it was. God is waiting for you. To speak it. God is waiting for you to speak it. Reflections is a testimony of the power and the glory of God. I was somewhere, the, I am still somewhere this morning. I'm running an errand. Somebody said to me, he said, why don't you run along and go and do reflections? Uh, you can do it from inside here. I said, no. I already got ready. I knew I was going to be on the road. I'm going to do it in the car. I had no doubt in my mind that I would do reflections today. No matter what. And here I am in the car doing it. Whatever you call it, that is what it will be. I, it, I said at the beginning because the Lord said to me, bring good news, bring a hope pill to my people every morning. I'm here on assignment. What are you going to call your life? What are you going to call your children? It's not what it looks like. It is what you call it. What you call it is what it will become. Good news. Change what you are calling things. Change what people are calling you. Change what they are calling your circumstance and your situation. When they call it what you don't want it to be, say no. This is what my situation is. Blessed. 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 
God bless you real good. We are on to something special. I call you blessed. I call you victorious. I call you favored. I call you lifted. I call you excellent. I call you healed. I call you prosperous. I call you righteous. I call you good. That is your name. I call you fruitful. Wonderfully fruitful. I, in fact, I call you wonderful. After the name of the Lord Jesus Christ himself. Because you are a co here with him. Wonderful. You all have a wonderful day. God bless you real good. Thank you for joining me on this adventure called Reflections. God bless you. It is well with you. Remember your name. I call you blessed. It's been Reflections for me, Obilano.